one. Bitmain's Antminer V4. What is it? What does it do? Is it a value? Should you buy it? Will it ever pay for itself? All these answered here. So, today, Bitmain introduced the all-new Antminer V9. Uh, for Terahash, uh, based on their website, which does not give you a lot of information, it just simply says that it's a value. It's a V9. Uses a BM1580 chip, which is the 16 nanometer chip. The uh, board's three hashes. Three, you get about four, maybe four and a half hash power out of each one. And it's going to be running around a thousand watts. However, more than likely higher than that. With more than likely a thousand twenty seven. But they are going to say we're going to average at a thousand watts. So uh very similar to all of the other ones. Also reminds me of the old S7, just repackaged and in a new, uh, a, with a new name. That's pretty much it. So, uh, slightly better chips and slightly better, uh, well, wattage usage as far as the units concerned. But is this something that's going to be worth purchasing? Now, it has a very, very low price of $345. Now, at that price, let's take a look and let's see if it's going to ever pay for itself. So, I've got a couple of uh, calculators here, which uh, you can go to btc.com, select the tools, find the mining calculator, and you can put all this in yourself. So, we have the current price at hash rate of the listed hash rate. Power on average, uh, average electrical use for most people, and the price of Bitcoin currently. So we calculate all of this, and lo and behold, what do we have? So we currently have almost a year to pay it back. It does bring in after uh, electricity costs $8.72 per day. So it is ever so slightly profitable. Uh, we'll go over the pros and cons of this unit in a moment. So I also took three miners to get this price. Okay. So you have to buy a minimum of five. So we'll compare the three to one S nine as a comparison in value. Now we come over to the S nine at its current price. We take the, and this is after shipping and whatnot. Uh, we take one. Uh, this is the hash rate. A little low on the wattage, but we'll accept that. Uh, average electrical rate for most. And what do we have? We have, oh, somehow this is way off. So we come back here to put in the proper uh bitcoin price and we have what do you know not a value at all the s9 is no longer able to even pay for itself due to the high difficulty and to the high price prices have been escalating out of control here lately and hopefully this will bring them back down to earth because at this rate, we're going backwards in mining. So let's talk about some pros and cons about having the uh, the V9 versus the S9. Well, in mining, uh, there's a multiplier that we use based on efficiency and shelf space. So. When the new miner comes out, if it's more efficient and has a higher hash rate, we can take those, average those out, get our 
statistical multiplier, and that is what our times uh, of increase in profitability is going to be. Here, we've gone the opposite direction. Now we're going to have to have more on our shelf at ridiculously low prices. Or maybe it's not that ridiculous. Maybe it's they're making a healthy profit at this. And maybe they're just repackaging all the sevens and calling them new. I don't know. And I'm not going to go there. But the fact is that now I've just become... I use, I've used dramatically more electricity, and I have to have more shelf space. We're going backwards when it comes to this equation. So something's got to give. Usually uh, it's the price. So let's take a look at price. Now, we are going to have difficulty increases before prices get there, but we have to get to quite a bit higher in order to break even on our S9. So we're going to take 10,000 as far as the price per Bitcoin. And we're going to calculate this out. As you can see, Somehow we got lost there. At that point, we're only making eleven dollars a day per miner, and we do actually begin to have a payback. So prices got to increase before we can get to a healthy payback for our V nines. Now let's do the same thing for the. S9. Now, due to the elevated price, this is what we're facing currently with the reduced price. Even at $10,000 at these elevated prices, we cannot pay back our equipment. So let's see what it's going to take to get to a break-even point on our capital expenditures. Well, we see that it takes three quarters of a year, basically, to uh, get a payback at twenty thousand. It's where we should have been after, with all the explosion in mining hash, where uh, mining hash rate, uh, manufacturers getting into the game. And this is why I recommend diversification to everybody that hosts, I'm hosting, as well as all miners out there. So that when times like this happen, we are able to survive. So something's got to give. But as far as the V9, it's a, a couple of steps backwards. But that's what it's going to take to be profitable, unfortunately. So, let's demand lower prices on equipment. Let's demand uh, higher prices for Bitcoin. Hold those Bitcoin. Don't sell them. That'll help raise the price. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you like more videos like this, let me know. And I'll start making more. Also, as always, have a great day, make somebody smile, and goodbye.